Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel where we take old clothes and make it fashion. I had a little bit of creative block last week. I was like, what do the people on my channel want to see? So I decided to ask you guys. Turned out that the people who answered the poll basically all wanted something else. So thank you so much for helping me out. I decided to do a little bit of two worlds. <laughs> so this is the blazer that we're gonna upcycle. I'm gonna get some inspiration from a Mugler blazer. It's uh, probably really expensive. Next side we're gonna do a fabric manipulation technique. So if you're cool, this video is for you. Let that be. No smash. We're gonna start with the master manip uh, fabric manipulation technique. Little disclaimer, I've never done this technique. It's called tucking. I'm just gonna start off by making a small incision. I promise it won't hurt. <laughs> So the idea is to first sew in small vertical pleats. Therefore, I want to place markings two centimeters apart on the fabric. And at this point, I start to realize that the vertical lines in the fabric have the exact distance that I want. So for my convenience, I'm gonna use them as the guidelines. And I'm just gonna mark the begin and end point with my chalk. So, I think that's all the preparations we need. Yeah, I'm very curious. So the markings indicate the fold line and we're gonna stitch half a centimeter next to it. It may be worth it if it's possible to move the needle a little bit to the left or right to the point where you have an easy indication where this half centimeter is. So one done guys, this is going uh, toppy oppy. You sew one time from the top and then the next one you're gonna do from the other side because otherwise apparently... Something happens. I don't, just no, do not exactly understand what, but uh, I heard it on the interwebs, guys, and everything on the interwebs is true. But let's follow the rules for once, shall we? One minute, 37 seconds later. You turn, we have a problem. And no, it's not. It's not my frizzy hair, but thank you for reminding me. I think I don't like that the ruffle kind of goes so far up my shoulder blades. I feel like down here it's kind of cool, just above the, well, hips to stay politely. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try out the other side a little bit lower. And if you're getting a little bit off track, like yours truly, who's been only sewing for <clears throat> a little while, just open it and do it again. What did you think I was going to say? I mean, what did you think? I was going to say. Almost straight. Almost straight at me. I did three. Take a little check in the mirror. <gasps> I'm joking. <laughs> the shorter ones are definitely cooler, so I'm gonna open the other ones. Hashtag seam ripping my life. Then go in with the machine to tack it back down. Everything is securely secured. This is the reason you may not want to use a contrasting thread. Because it's so hard to see on your own back what's going on. Make a picture. I'm a model, if you know what I mean. When we're at it, we can do one from the front as well. Well, that's looking pretty bonkers, but I'm gonna add one more lead right on top of the seam. Then I'm gonna do a little press, press, press. Then we're gonna add top stitching to give dimension to the pleats. I'm gonna begin at the middle back and sew outward both the bottom and the top of the pleat. And in the middle, I'm gonna fold the pleats in opposite direction and top stitch over it that way. Then you may wonder the front. I don't want it to be baggy in the front and cinched down in the back. Oh hell no! I'm just gonna. <laughs> so welcome to my not so legit but very quick repair <laughs> to make your blazer smaller. Loosen up those buttons, babe. Move them a little bit to the side. Nobody has to know. If you've never sewn on a button, then uh, shame on you. Educate yourself. <laughs> Oh, ooh, bloody hell. Then, time for some therapeutic drawing. I'm gonna start off with drawing your own tears, and then use your last bit of aggression to chop it through half. At least that's what I see in this blazer, but it's hard to see, honestly. I'm gonna pin them on the blazer to see where I want to place the cutouts. Ow! Do some small adjustments to the shape, and then trace them onto the fabric, and then cut it out. That's why it's called a cutout. Then you may wonder, why do I not move the cutout a little so that it's not exactly on the piping of the pocket? It is not highly unpractical. And then the answer is shut up, but uh, yes, avoid that if you can. Because it was really not the best idea. It cost me another extra hour of work. And then I'm gonna zigzag around the edge, attaching the lining to the blazer. By the way, there was one girl who requested crochet corset tutorial without crocheting. Cro crochet, crocheting. 
Uh. Happy to sacrifice my well-being again for a challenge. Let me know if that's interesting to more of you. And as some of you may already know, I'm not really a material girl. Uh. As in, uh, most of the time I do not really have the right materials to work with. I wanted to sew around bias tape and I would really recommend to use that, but instead I had to use this kind of lace. Well, it kind of worked. So I'm just stitching it around the hole, first along the round part. And I was not going in the right order. I would first do the top edge as well, but I was already going in with the iron, fold it over and press, press, press. And then went over with a top stitch a few millimeters from the edge. And then I went ahead and did the top two with a piece of bias tape, cutting the seam allowance into the corner to make sure that it's gonna fold around. But it was harder to do that right when the other ones were already top stitched. But at this point, the seam rip motivation was a little bit non-existent. And as we all know, it's the outside, <coughs> inside that counts. Beautiful, but not too smart, or very smart and not too beautiful. And why? If you want to finish it nicely, you can wrap the upper tape around the other ends and make everything very neat with a hand stitch. Okay guys, I'm quite excited to be honest. I think this might be my favorite blazer yet. It's not perfect, it, it never is. But just let me know what you think. And as always, I would love if you subscribe to my channel. It really helps. Turn on the notification so you know when I upload. And I hope that you like the video and give it a like. And uh, thanks so much. <laughs>